force. left and number 11 will we miss the rhinoceros the name rhinoceros may sound kind of funny but it means no horn the horn on the rhino's nose grows and grows as much as three includes a year the rhinos uh, the rhinoceros is the only animal that has a horn growing from its nose from its nose other animals have horns growing on the top or sides of the heads a mother rhinoceros use her horn to protect her baby from lions hyenas and crocodiles there are five kinds of rhinos some have only one horn others have two horns but all rhinos have very poor eyesight and must drink water often that makes them easy to kill it is against the law to kill rhinos but powagers st still kill them for their horns which are very up available there are now very few rhinos left and most of them lived in protective reserves. Rhino. So it's a little smaller. We have two animals left. Number 12. Will we miss the gorilla? Will we miss the mountain gorilla? The mountain gorilla is the largest living primate. This gentle, shy creature is the only ape 
that likes to spend most of its time on the ground instead of in the trees. It eats seeds, fruits, net net tools, wild Rules, tell me this word just like only five seconds. Okay, whistles, tussles, and other plants with any abilities dumb like humans have. These apes can pick up the smallest seed. One only a few hundred mountain gorillas are still alive. They lived in a few small areas of Central Africa, where they where they are still good and protective. You might see a. Low land gorilla in the z- in in a zoo, but a mountain gorilla can only live if it is free. A group of mountain gorillas is led by a large silver. Backed male, he protects the group and leads it through the forest. Newborn babies weigh about four one over two pounds. Their mothers and aunts. Feed and carry them, and shelter them in a nest or branches at night. Just like people, their babies can't walk until they are about one year old. So I decided to put something right here, but、uh, maybe mountain gorillas had orange forehead or brown forehead, and yeah, as you know, gorillas are black. But I decided to put the brown right here or orange, so I used brown and orange. Wait, gorilla. Oh, wait, wait. Now we have one more animal, which is the last one. This is the final animal, animal number thirteen. Will we miss the crocodile? The big, two-headed mouth. A crocodile is really amazing. It has about one hundred sharp teeth. When one tooth falls out, a new tooth one grows in very quietly,、uh, very quickly, and new ones can grow in again forty-five times. Even with all these eyes, this mother crocodile can be very gentle. After she makes a new and lay her egg, and lays her eggs, she watches. 
She watched. She watched. Watch. Watch. Watched. Watches. Careful. Uh, she watches careful. Carefully. Until the eggs hatch. She, then she opens her mouth so her babies can climb in to get a ride down to the to the water the babies never finish growing up they grow bigger every year off their lives imagines if people did that some crocodiles are endangered because they are killed for their valuable skin and because they are dangerous neighbors a crocodile lying a uh, lying in the sun to get warm and surprise you watched out if this turbid it can run as fast as a race horse or a short distance Yeah. And the end. And yeah, but we're not done. There's still more here. So yeah, so if you want to read this, you can read this part. And you can read this part here. But I'm not going to read it because it's a little long, but, uh, yeah. So, if you want to read this part, you have to buy it. So, uh, you can still read here. So, I will read this, so I'm going to pause it, and I'll be back. I'm all done, let's read this one. To help endangered species learn everything you can about them and tell other people about them visiting the zoo and your library to find out about wild animals in your area, no matter No matter where you live, you can do something if we are here with can make our world a place where people and animals can live together in harmony. The end. Now I had to put this back in my folder and put it in my bag and yeah, so I need to wake up and uh, go to the library to return it and get another book. So that is my book called Will We Miss Then? Endangered Species. I hope you enjoy my videos and subscribe and thanks for watching. And as you know, it's the last day of September. It's September 30. It will be October soon. I mean, it will be October next, so uh, see you next time.